Another area of integration is in terms of web analytics. And what most people are using web analytics for is to understand how folks are interacting with their website and in an attempt to drive additional conversions. Now with Mongoose, you're going to be able to gauge offline conversions. So what most people are using web analytics for is to gauge online conversions. If someone came to your website, put a few books into a shopping cart, purchased a shopping cart, or abandoned it, um, and then seeing that flow into maybe a CRM or a customer system uh, is very helpful to understand, oh, this web page is converting, this landing page is converting. We need to tweak some of these tables over here to see if we can get them to convert better. And now, with Mongoose Metrics, you're able to layer in offline conversion information. So before, when somebody would call your company and you know, want to buy something or need more information or get added into your customer relationship management system, you didn't have the ability to tie the call information back to all that rich marketing source information. So basically there was a disconnect. Once somebody picked up the phone, they effectively became an abandoned web session. When in fact they were actually a customer who was looking to buy. So Mongoose Metrics is able to give you the offline conversion picture in addition to the online conversion picture that many companies are already visualizing through web analytics. The importance of Mongoose Metrics integrating with various web analytics vendors like Google Analytics, Omniture, Site Catalyst, Web Trends, or Unica, is that you're able to get a complete conversion picture. So if you look at it simply over here as a pie chart, you, know, you want to be able to attribute online conversions to marketing sources, for instance, AdWords, ad spend. But if you're not understanding offline conversions, the people that have decided they want to interact with you via the phone instead of purchasing something through an online mechanism, you're not correctly attributing the full value of each keyword or of each marketing source that is driving folks to your website or to your company. So what we do by integrating with some of these uh, web analytics vendors is to be able to give you the ability to visualize your complete conversion picture. And through visualizing that, you can properly attribute the value or the ROI of each keyword or marketing source that you happen to be buying for your business. And in that way you're, you're giving full value to each of your marketing dollars and you're able to better allocate future marketing spends. For instance, Google Analytics, we were the first folks to inter, uh, integrate with them in 2007. Omniture and Web Trends, I believe we're uh, one of the first to integrate with any, you know, any of those vendors. And uh, you know, we, we view integration with enterprise solutions like these as critical to providing our customers value because we look at it as that our customers are currently using an existing web analytics platform. We want to make it as easy as possible for them to take online and offline conversion data and use it in optimizing their marketing. So instead of requiring someone to log into our web interface, we'd be happy to export the data to a piece of software which the customer is already using, already has process and procedure around, and works within their business and with their metrics.